Hi and welcome back to another video from Effective Dashboards. In this video I'll cover my 7 reasons I think you should develop your maintenance KPI dashboard in Power BI and not Excel. Reason number 1 is that Power BI is super easy to learn. It's really easy to start loading data into your Power BI dashboard to start transforming the data and cleansing the data and then start adding visualizations to your dashboard. There's lots of resources out there that will help you do that. I've got a video that I'll leave a link to underneath that will help you learn how to go from an Excel spreadsheet to a Power BI dashboard, super easy, in less than an hour and a half. So reason number one, Power BI is super easy to learn. Reason number two is that Power BI has lots and lots of visualization options. Power BI, a standard, comes with must be 10, 20, I've never really counted, options for graphs and tables and matrices and charts and all sorts of maps and other things. So you are spoiled for choice on the visualizations that you can use within Power BI. And there's also a marketplace. So there are third party vendors that have created visualizations. You can even create your own if you want to. So Power BI has lots and lots of options for visualizing your data. Reason number three is that Power BI has lots and lots of options for connecting to data sources. So you can connect to databases, you can connect to Excel, you can connect to web pages, text files, PDFs, lots of cloud-based services. You name it, Power BI has probably got a connection for it. So reason number three, you can connect to lots and lots of different data sources. You can even connect to different data sources in the same Power BI report. Reason number four is that if you abandon Excel for creating your dashboards, you can avoid using VLOOKUPs, HLOOKUPs, any type of lookups. These hamper your performance and can get confusing to follow and are just really a sticking plaster because Excel doesn't support the connection between different tables. So in Power BI, you can create a data model. You can have different tables with one-to-many, many-to-one, one-to-one relationships, even many-to-many -many relationships. And that will allow you to create a proper data model without using any lookups. So reason number four, you can abandon the lookups. Reason number five is that you can clean and transform your data before you load it into your data model. So I've never been in a project before where we've not needed to carry out some sort of cleansing or transformation steps on the data before it was in a, a proper state that we could use it to develop and create KPIs and reports. So Power Query is a tool that comes along with Power BI and that allows you to delete rows, delete errors, find and replace values, change data types, add new columns based on existing columns and calculations. It allows you to do all sorts of cleansing and transformation activities prior to loading your data into Power BI. So reason number five, you can clean your data before loading it into your data model. Reason number six is that you can share your dashboard with anyone you like. So Power BI has a an option to publish your Power BI desktop report to the Power BI service. And that is a web-based portal that allows you to share your report with anyone inside or outside your organization. So newer versions of Excel do allow you to share the file, but there's still an option there that someone, if you don't have the, the setup right, someone can go and change the formulas, edit the data, change some of the visualizations. That's not possible when you publish your report as a standalone report that no one has got really access to the underlying data so you can effectively share your report with anyone you like. Number six, the ability to share your report. Finally, reason number seven is that Power BI offers a very effective drill through capability. So within Excel you can drill through if you use a pivot table to the underlying data or you can set up hyperlinks to other tabs or other, other sheets but it's a bit clinky and it doesn't really, a bit clunky and it doesn't really lend itself to a, a, a nice user experience. In Power BI, it's set up to allow you to drill through to information in the same Power BI desktop file or even within other files and really interpret and understand the data that lies behind the KPI figures. 
So reason number seven is Power BI offers a very effective drill through capability. Okay, so that's my seven reasons why I think you should create a maintenance KPI dashboard in Power BI and not Excel. So let's just recap. Number one, it's super easy to get started. Number two, there's lots of visualization options. Number three, there's lots of data connection options. Number four, you can stop using V lookups, H lookups, any type of lookups. Number five, you can cleanse the data before you load it into your Power BI data model. Number six, you can publish it to the Power BI service and share your dashboard with anyone you want without fear of them editing the underlying data and dashboard. And number seven is that Power BI offers a really good drill through capability so you can interpret the information that is behind the KPIs. Hopefully you found this useful. If you want to create your own dashboard, then I will leave a link to a video below where you can sign up for a free course. Otherwise, thanks again for listening and I'll talk to you in another video.